this is Deborah. I'm going to do a video on the Alex nine drawer from Ikea. I uh, I'm getting kind of forgetful so I have labeled my drawers with the Martha Stewart labeler and I did it in very small font to let everybody, you know, let me know where everything is. So I'll pull each out so that you can see how I've labeled them. There you go. So I guess I should go back. This is the moisturizers, primers, foundation, and um, correctors, and my tools. Okay, the next drawer is the foundations. I have to keep two colors since I tan pretty easily. So this is the light, this is the darker. These are my blushes and my um, Plasma Fusion from Dimitri James. And these are all my bronzers and my sharpeners. I keep the sharpeners on a little dish so that it catches the shavings. Um, the next one is all the refills for the eyelash curlers, the eyelash curlers, and these are the gels and any um, of the eyebrow liners, mascaras. All these are excess liners. And the next one is a suntan lotion, the shading, highlighting shading palette and the um, highlighting for the corner of your eyes and down your nose, of course, in the motion. Okay, the next one is the lip volumizers, lip pencils, lipstick, and then my chapsticks. Now, I got all these little things at the dollar store. I get them at different sizes. This is my sunglass and reading glass drawer, and I've been able to salvage a lot of my reading, um, I should say sunglasses, by buying these... Um, to uh, protect the lenses. Next one is the nails, just nothing but nails. And the last one is extra eyeshadow palettes. Now, I got this from Amazon, very, very inexpensive. I try to color co code them, like color ranges, but you know, people come in here and play with them and get them out of the range, but uh, I got this at an office supply store, and then I got this at the home goods store, which I really like it. So I separate the, the brushes from the whites, like if you're doing um, corrector, and then the shadowing. And these are the clean brushes. I just cleaned my brushes last night, but these are the brushes I use just to smooth out everything. These are the ones I use uh, to... Um, I needs to go there. Okay. Uh, these are, this section is eyebrow, the back section is for really fine, fine work, like really detailed if you're going to get into the crease. And this is to, I guess, a blending brush. So, now, here's what I had to do. Yeah, I got this light at Costco for, maybe you can see me in the mirror. Oh, well, there I am. It's lighted. Probably like fourteen dollars, but this drawer, I put this together myself, which I was very proud of. Um, so I've actually marked the drawers here: moisturizers, correctors, foundation, primers, highlighters, eyebrow gel, and of course that's just palettes of course yeah there's my newest palette I got from Las Vegas so uh the drawer started sagging let me see if I can show you the drawer started sagging because I guess I just put it have a tendency to when you're putting on makeup and you pull it out of here and you put it over here it gets too heavy so it, it was sinking and sagging and this was these little things was all that was holding 
the uh, bottom of the drawer up and I just found them very insignificant. I should have called Ikea and told them, but what I did is I took the Gorilla Glue and popsicle sticks because there was a significant gap in here. Let me see. I don't know if you could see where the Gorilla Glue went all the way down. And I just um, put popsicle sticks in the, if you can see some of them, to hold the space so it had something to glue to because it was such a wide gap. And then I also glued it underneath. Let's see. Oh, no, I guess it's no use to give it to you underneath, but whatever. Uh, that is how I dealt with that problem. It seems to be working, but I can feel under the drawer with my fingers. I can feel the the uh, the Gorilla Glue because it does expand a lot, but I think it will work for what I need it to. I just have to treat it more gentle, I guess. So I hope you enjoyed that. I do like this glass top that came with the mom desk. Uh, but the only thing I don't like about it, I should have done a little bit more research, it only comes out this far. There's a lot less space. There's a lot of leftover space underneath that uh, I can't get to. You know, but other than that, it, I think it's nice. I just wish they would make these things uh, a little bit more sturdy because this this is not going to hold my makeup at all all right thank you bye bye